Dalia and I both love astronomy, but we also both love video games. When playing video games, we really appreciate when developers actually care about the night sky and at least try to reproduce a skybox as true to life as possible. So in this video, we're going to go over a few video games. Some are really impressive and are extremely close to reality, while some others are a bit disappointing, but deserve credit for trying anyway. And yes, we kept the best for the end. Let's go. Alright, the first one is Red Dead Redemption 2. This is a huge open world game where you control a cowboy and obviously back then the, the skies were very dark. So that's perfect. Okay, so first game, Red Dead Redemption. Um, so if we walk around here, we can see the Milky Way and the stars, um, although they don't seem to really match real life. Uh, and for example, I see that the moon here seems to be to the north. So. Uh, the moon uh, does not match what's real in life. But it looks beautiful, though. The sky, is, the, sky is, the sky is great, I mean. No doubt. And Walking you get to be a cowboy, you get to ride a horse, <laughs> you get to pop up. You can ride a horse and there are ones on all the time. So great. Uh, but yeah, so overall, um, great, all, I mean, great, impressive, but not real uh, compared to real life. Forza Horizon is the arcade spin-off of the Forza Motorsports racing simulation series. It is an open-world racing game that takes place in Mexico. You can drive several hundreds of vehicles including hypercars, buggies, trucks and everyday cars. Now, is the sky realistic? So at, at first glance, yes, uh, we can see the Pleiades there already and maybe the Hyades behind it. But I'm not sure, um, hmm, I'm not really sure. But just panning the camera up and looking around, the sky looks pretty well done. You can see the moon there. This game takes place in Mexico, so the stars don't really match Vegas, but we're trying to recognize some of them. So if we look closer at the Pleiades, we can kind of compare it to what we see in Sky Safari. And it seems like it's probably the only, uh, the only realistic part of the sky. I mean, Perseus uh, can kind of be seen here, but besides that, uh, the stars don't match. At least I don't think so. So that's a very easy trick in video games uh, when, like, for example, developers, they just add the Pleiades in the sky and that's it. So you, you see the Pleiades and you think, oh, the Pleiades are in there. So it's very identifiable. So the sky is, is real, but if you look closer, you might not see that, you know, in many games, there's just the Pleiades and that's it. The sky, everything else is fake. <laughs> I remember in Fallout Horizon 3, uh, the sky looks much better than this. It was set in Australia and they really went above and beyond to recreate the skybox really well back then. So why is Forza Horizon 5 sky not realistic? Well, that's because it takes so much money and effort to, to really make a good skybox that's close to real life. Can't get better than that, yeah. real life. Um, so. That, especially when all, each installment of the game takes place in a different country, like yes, things change move, so. all the time, so they basically have to start from scratch every yeah, single time. Yeah, because each continent has different, sky, you know, different skies and different stars, so... I think if there was one thing that we would have wanted there is if they could add a, a Milky Way. Yeah, that would be like, even a fake Milky Way, just add it, yeah, and just so it looks impressive. Just but, the oh effect. Well. Yeah. Next is Assassin's Creed. Let's use Odyssey, as this is the one I played last. Assassin's Creed Odyssey is an action role-playing game set in 431 to 422 BC Greece. What I really loved about the story is that you encounter several historical statues that are very popular in the Greek mythology aspect of the astronomy world. Yes, for example, Zeus, Athena, Heracles, Hera, and more. You can learn about how these are linked to astronomy by reading our book about the constellations. Okay, so the game looks great uh, both during the day and during the night. Uh, the moon seems to have its own cycle, which is something more and more games are doing these days. That's... yeah. So the stars... not great. Not great. Um, for Like Forza Horizon, Odyssey just kind of gave up on creating the realistic night sky, like... Just 
bringing it home. But even though they did put in a lot of work, just like they did in previous games, like kind of starting from yeah, scratch. Like, just like Horizon, they did a better job in the past than right now. For example, in Assassin's Creed Origins, which is the previous one before Odyssey, um, the sky was better, which is crazy. Here you have a, a rushed Milky Way band, uh, which still looks nice, but no constellation uh, or specific no stars can be seen. Yeah, no, there's no constellations and there's no uh, specific stars that can be seen here. Overall, though, the sky looks pretty good and it's still impressive despite not being real. Yeah, I think so. I mean, if you own Assassin's Creed Origins, you would be able to see some constellations like Orion and a couple of other ones, as well as the Pleiades, so... Yeah, but not in Odyssey. Mm -mm. Now let's move to what I would say is the known space game with the absolute best representation of the sky so far. Microsoft Flight Simulator. In this game you can select the plane of your choice and take off, fly and land anywhere in the world. The 2020 edition of Flight Simulator is actually mind-blowing due to the fact that the entire Earth is modeled realistically. In case you were wondering, yes, you can find your house in-game. Okay, the night sky in uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator is incredible. Uh, developers went above and beyond to recreate the exact stars, constellations and moon uh, in the sky. Not only do the stars and the moon look awesome, but they also move across the sky in real time. Uh, that also means that you can experience both lunar and solar eclipses in real time. So on top of that, the weather is really cool. Uh, it's also in real time, it matches your location. And you can also know if it's clear or cloudy above your city while you're playing the game, which is very neat. So if your telescope is imaging the backyard right now, kind of like us, and you're passing the time, fly around your neighborhood in a flight simulator, why not? It's, it's cool. And if you do see some clouds or rain appearing in the game, just be sure to watch out, you know. Not everything is reliable, that's why we have like three different apps for stuff. Yeah, and because the constellations are all real, uh, challenge yourself and try to spot all 88 of them uh, uh, while well, you know, well, you're flying around. It's, it's a fun challenge um, because you have both northern and southern skies that are mapped. Mm. And also everything is correct for the correct season and you want to see Orion just fly in winter. You want to see Cygnus fly in, in summer. Same for the Milky Way band. Uh, it's really cool. And also Polaris is very simple to locate um, thanks, thanks not only to the compass telling you what the north is, but also to the Big Dipper and Cassiopeia, which allow you to star hop to Polaris. And I wanted to see if uh, the game was super realistic, and I used the time option to make a time lapse of the night sky. And of course, the stars do properly rotate uh, around Polaris, just like in what? real life. Kerbal Space Program is like Microsoft Flight Simulator, a flight simulation. This time though, the focus is on outer space and your characters are silly frogs. Don't think that controlling a frog means the whole game is silly though. This is, in my opinion, the best rocket simulator ever made. And the game teaches you so much about gravity, rocket launches, and how space flight actually works. This is Kerbal Space Program. Uh, that's a game I've played so many hours. Let's go into something already in space. Maybe scenarios. Uh, what do they have? Let's see. So Kerbal Space Program, if you don't know, is a game where you control, I mean, you, you build and you control your own rockets. And it's a very funny game, but also it's very, very um, true to, to life in terms of mechanics. Uh, like you have gravity, you have uh, Delta V, you have everything like that. And it's really like if you want to become an engineer in the space area, that's actually a great game to learn on because you, you learn so much about the mechanics of space travel. Uh, let's unzoom real quick uh, and we have the entire space here. So this is the sun. Every planet in this game is very similar to the real planets, but they have different names and different sizes. Let's look down. Oh, Big Dipper right here. So Ursa Major is right here. So as you can see, uh, the, the real constellation of Ursa Major is in the game. So we have a Milky Way. Okay, great Milky Way. With a Milky Way core, which seems to be around here. And then... Where are we? Oh, Orion! We got Orion! And um, the Pleiades should be around. Oh, yep, Pleiades right there. So, Pleiades, Hyades, Orion, 
with M42 somewhere right here. But yeah, this is uh, another game with a real sky and this game is awesome. So if you guys have never played it, you should. If you know Scott Manley, uh, Scott Manley does many videos about this game. Okay, now the next game, the next and final game is going to blow your mind. Let's go. And now comes the big dog. Elite Dangerous has a realistic one-to-one -one scale simulation of our Milky Way with real star names, nebulae and planets. Elite Dangerous holds the record for the largest map ever in a video game. Do you have a favorite star in the sky? Go visit it and learn about the system in the game. The developers gathered real scientific data for everything known in our Milky Way and used the theoretic data to complete the galaxy. So let's first take a look at the map. It's insane. All of these dots are the solar systems which you can travel to and there are 400 billion of them. Or more, I don't know. Mm, insane. And besides being able to go anywhere in the galaxy, um, you can also see every star and constellations from different angles. Uh, after jumping from our solar system to a different one, like far away a few times, uh, of course you realize that you that you see every, everything, every constellation differently from different angles. And uh, that's really great. You can't Which even, is kind of crazy. You can't even make them out anymore. unfathomable, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and several deep sky objects are also present in the game, which you can visit. Uh-oh. So, as of today, you can physically visit more than 110 nebulae, and they just become unrecognizable again because your point of view is just always shifting around. Yeah, and you can travel to 110 10 uh, plus nebulae, but only one cluster in the Pleiades. So I wish you could travel to more clusters. Like I would love to go to a globular cluster, for example. That would be great. Globular cluster. <laughs> so yeah, to conclude, guys, really quick, uh, thanks to these developers that we just, uh, you know, the games we went through for at least trying to add real skies to their games, or at least close to real skies to their games. Uh, big props to Elite Dangerous and uh, Flight Simulator. Those two are insane. Also a Kerbal Space Program, of course. Of course. Um, but yeah, those games are great. And we we know of other games that have some good skies and some, at least, you know, we tried. And if you have other game ideas that you know have real skies, uh, let us know in the comments. Maybe we'll do a, a version two of this video and uh, check them out for five or six more games. Yeah, I mean, uh, games. if anything, just like let us know what your favorite one is so far that you've seen in games. Yeah, that would be great. So yeah, we'll see you guys next time, and uh, we hope you like this kind of strange video. Uh, we love the cross it's sections astronomy, and okay? space. It's space related, so. Space and, yeah. and everything else. So we'll space see you guys next space. time, and clear skies. <laughs>